Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. We're here at Universal Orlando Resort. Number one, to try out the ride reservation system for Jimmy Fallon, you go into the app and you click on the very first thing that you see that says Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon, and then you can select Virtual Line, and you sign up for a time, which I did in the parking lot, and then you get a QR code that you will show to the ride attendants, and they let you ride in. Should be pretty awesome. Uh, we do still have to go through the museum and go up and see like the entertainment on the second level, but don't have to wait to go in before that, or we don't have to use the ride reservation kiosks, which is nice. Also, because today is St. Patrick's Day, there is an Irish pub here at Universal Orlando. So we're gonna go and see what kind of festivities they have and maybe get some Irish food to celebrate. Pretty awesome making that reservation out in the car because like I've already spent 15 minutes of it just walking to the park. Haven't even gotten into Universal yet. 4.47 and my reserve time is at 5.20 so it's like not, not too far away. Still Mardi Gras here and normally they're playing like Mardi Gras songs but they're not now. They're playing this song about sad songs. The Mardi Gras still walkers are out and about already. Well, they've gotten like, they're like different heights. <laughs> like he's having a conversation with them. Oh, everybody's juggling. Oh, and the band's out. Oh, it's a new band. saying happy Saint Party Gras. Wave to everybody. Oh! Come here, baby. Have fun. Oh! The stash. You need some of this. Yes! Thank no, you. you. need to hang it on the stash. Oh, it gets oh, stuck. Goodness. It does. It gets stuck. Does it support it? Oh, yeah. It really will? Like, it does that. Oh, my girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Every girl's crazy. About a sharp dress man. <laughs> so over here, I don't think that these little kiosks were here the last time that we came, but if you want to ride Jimmy Fallon, you either use the app like I did, or you come up here and you use one of these little machines. Now that I've looked around a little bit, I've only got 20 minutes left until my time to ride, so let's go into Finnegan's. Oh, it's a little bit crowded. It's not too bad, though. They do have green beers going. Construction malls for Doc's candy store are down, but it still is not open yet. Soon though, soon. They bumped out these walls over here now too, around Fast and Furious, before the black walls connected over there. And it looks like they've done a little bit more steel work on it too. Still no more work on the windows. Might as well make a stop into the Irish import store at Universal, which is kind of across from that Doc's candy store over there and Finnegan's is right there on the corner. Let's see what they've got. Lots and lots of green for St. Patrick's Day. Just in case you didn't have anything to wear, you can come in here and get all kinds of green stuff. Like some fun St. Patrick's Day hats. Oh look, zero days until St. Patrick's Day. Lots and lots of green stuff. It's my favorite song of all time, by the way. It's called Jambalaya. Amazing. We've got two minutes. Let's start heading over towards Jimmy Fallon. Does the phone have a hard time? Sometimes they don't like to scan. This looks an awful lot like a line. I just noticed that underneath each picture gives the year that the NBC symbol is from. I may have spoken too soon. We are moving fairly quickly. Give you guys a full time estimate from the time I walked into the time I get off the ride. I'm green again. The perfect color for St. Patrick's Day. Well, I asked one of the NBC pages, they said they are working on adding the word of the color to the card. So this would say like green across the top. And then you would kind of have to, like either somebody in your party would know what color is being called, or if you wait up towards the front of the group, you can ask one of the NBC pages and they will tell you like green just got called. And then you can go up to the next one and so on. I also asked about Express. When Express is available, it's exactly like the virtual line system that I just did. But you just don't have to do it. You just have Express. You just walk up at any time during the day and say, hey, I have Express. And you just come right in like this. It's 
interesting noting the difference between today and the first time that I came because the first time that I came there was tons of people sitting on the ground. Today they're kind of all like crowded towards the front just waiting to go upstairs. Me, I'm gonna look at the displays. Totally different time for television because this is a lighter right here and I think this is a box for Jimmy Carson cigarettes. No pictures of him actually smoking up here though. Kind of interested to know the significance of this phone for the Steve Allen area. Also, there's a phone number on it. It says 4539649, I think. It's kind of loud in here. I didn't even notice that it changed to yellow. It's also very interesting to note the difference in the microphones for each host. Like this is from Conan O'Brien, so this is a very new microphone. But if we look back at Jack Parr, his microphone is an old RCA. This is one of the cue cards that Jay Leno used to read off of. That's pretty neat. So they just called orange, and I'm stuck down here still in green. I wonder if I missed mine. Seems like everybody's, well, no, all those people up there have green, and they're all moving towards the front. Did I, did I miss something? Because this is definitely orange. So wait, what's going on? I said I thought it was orange. She's like, oh, I'm just trying to stay ahead of it. So I guess maybe stay close to the page up front because uh, orange got called and he let green go up. So now I'm going up to the second one. You know, I'm crowded up here. Interesting note, every one of these couches has plugs and USB charging ports on them. They just did a lip sync battle and I missed it. We gotta go. We know you wanna hear some more, but now it's time for us to go. Time to jet, time to bounce, right time gals are peace and out. Hopefully these colors are right up here. Everybody watching the pre-show waiting to get on. Alright, we're heading in. I wanted to show you guys the theater and kind of explain what's going on. We can see the whole screen, gigantic screen. And then right here, this entire theater picks up and moves around on a steward platform. So, there it is. We found out that these walkways lower all the way down to the ground down there during the actual ride. How cool is that? Heading out of the ride. Is this poster new? Maybe? I don't really remember. Jimmy Fallon, still a fantastic ride. Now that we're all done, we're back at Finnegan's to get some food. Potato and leek soup is pretty Irish. This isn't even Irish. They brought us out some soda bread. Couldn't be St. Patrick's Day without soda bread. There's my shepherd's pie. It's actually cottage pie because it has beef in it. But, I mean, as far as shepherd's pie goes, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. And then, cellar root vegetables. Here's what the inside of the shepherd's pie looks like. It's pretty good. It's like beef and peas and carrots and mashed potatoes on top of cheese. What an excellent way to spend St. Patrick's Day. Finnegan's was amazing. The food was good. The atmosphere was amazing. Jimmy Fallon was fun again. It was great. It was a good time. We had to bounce out of there really quick because the Mardi Gras parade was just starting. So I was trying to like avoid the crowd and head out. One more stop on the way out in City Walk. We're gonna stop by Pat O'Brien's. We're not gonna go inside, but we're gonna see what the party looks like from the outside. These flags are here celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Look at that sunset though. You can hear the party is already like coming at us with full force. Feel bad for all the other clubs around here because like they're not Pat O'Brien's on St. Patrick's Day. Like she's like trying to get people to go into the Red Coconut Club and everybody's like, no thanks though, we're going to Pat O'Brien's. Look at this. They've got like the whole area quarantined off. And uh, off Kilter is playing. Off Kilter being the famous band from Epcot.
the band that used to perform all the time out at Epcot. I'm guessing I may have waited too long because the Mardi Gras parade is now over and people are leaving at the same time that I am. There it is. And thus draws to close a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. I'm off on my way home, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.